are listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I like to throw curveballs. The Hagmans are going to host one segment of the show. I've got to go to a meeting right when the uh, this break ends, the segment ends. They're going to host the next 12-minute segment here. Uh, so they can continue to take your calls, 800-259-9231. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Xander in Minnesota. Xander, finishing up your point, you're saying people need to know what the problem is. They don't know what they're seeing. What is the problem? Well, I think it stems mostly from this um, labeling society we've developed, this systematics, where it's kind of, um, do you remember that drunk Australian caller that called a couple weeks ago? Do you remember him? Yes, of course. Uh, I think he was trying to articulate that systematic uh, issue, which is where um, the powers that be now are just trying to put everything into nice and neat boxes to categorize everything. And they, oh, yeah, MSNBC uh, just came out and said it's racist if you don't support carbon taxes. I mean, it's like if you don't like the way your food tastes, it's racist. It's just mindless buzzwords that create an emotion. That's in 1984 with Ingsoc, where they reduced the language to where you can't even talk to people. I agree that it's just a bunch of gibbering, childlike idiots. Go ahead. Yeah, and, um, you know, at, at, there's a certain point where people have to come to realize and accept that um, the way it is, the way it is. And, you know, no matter how many ways you um, use your reason and rationale to bend and contort the facts, you know, when there's going to be a barrel pointing in front of your face, you're not going to be able to make it into a smiley face. Well, that's right. And they've learned to just spin everything and call an occupation, you know, security when it's martial law. Great points. Let's get a take from the Hagmans on that before we go back to more calls. They really are. Uh, kill, they've killed the language. You know, I've heard you reference this several times. If you look at a, a English test from the 1850s and you try to give it to a graduate student in college today, that they would, you know, fail it miserably. They've dumbed people down through, you know, the use of, of vocabulary, and now with the name calling and, and labeling and marginalization, they've tribalized things, as, as you have put it. Well, let me look at MSNBC. They said, "quote." I influence the Boston bombings and I'm deeply racist and show no proof. I mean, if I said that somebody said something, I would play it or I would show it. I mean, they just say he's racist and he's a bomber. And what's even worse is, is the viewers, the majority of the viewers take that as basically the gospel. Yeah, exactly. And, and yet Tom Collins, the Clark County commissioner, has the audacity and, and, and apparently the... Uh, immunity to make a terroristic threat against the Patriots at the Bundy Ranch and suffer no consequences. I, I mean, it, it's ridiculous at its base. Oh, yeah, no, I've had like ABC new camera guys physically attack me and they don't get in trouble. But if I yell at them, I go to jail. It's just this attitude of we're the system, we'll do whatever we want. And people don't get when there's no justice, everybody gets screwed. Look at the prosperity going out the window right now as we go under tyranny. All these minions of the system have got a rude awakening, gentlemen. Yeah, you mentioned justice. You know, I, I heard an attorney tell me the other day the reason Lady Justice is blindfolded is not because justice is blind, it's because she's crying her eyes out. Exactly. Gentlemen, I want you to host the next 12-minute segment and go to Joe and go to Melvin and go to Pam, Mike, and Roger. You'll have time to get to those calls and cover a few other topics. Uh, I know you host your own show, so you'll do a great job here. I've got to go directly to a meeting right now. We're getting ready to launch the TV system and a bunch of other stuff. I had a bunch of other stuff going on behind the scenes, but we're uh, really appreciative of you. So I look forward to having you back on the transmission soon, but we're still in overdrive, folks. Coming back, Infowars.com forward slash show for the free feeds. A lot of stations carry this fourth hour as well. Please become PrisonPlanet.tv members, subscribers, to help fund this operation. You've got my commitment to never back down, to tell the truth. This is not rhetoric, what you're hearing. We're on the edge of just incredible things right now. And we are affecting the globalists. We are starting to beat them because we have the truth on our sides. But we've got to be bold. 
We'll be back with the Hagmans of HomelandSecurityUS.com hosting a segment of the transmission. Caller, stay there. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking a hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Have you ever thought you'd like to buy and sell houses but didn't know how or where to begin? Do you fear your job is in jeopardy or your business income reduction is keeping you awake at night? We're in the best time in 25 years to make a fortune in real estate without using your money or credit. And my name is Ron Legrand and I've taught a half a million people to do just that. And personally bought hundreds of houses myself. If you'll call 800-493-4653, 24 hours, and leave your information, I'll send the first 500 callers my hot new CD, Foreclosure Fortunes, and my best-selling book to help you get started absolutely free. I'll show you how to build a six-figure income part-time with no previous experience and no license, even if you're a busy professional. Call 800-493-4653, 24 hours, and get my new book and CD free. That's 800-493-4653. Take your life back and make this your best year ever. Call 800-493-4653. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER for 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. The last segment here, guest hosting with Doug and Joe Hagman here from HomelandSecurityUS.com. We're going to be taking some calls. And uh, Infowars.com is the website. And, and first, we're going to hit a story here. Russia. Yeah, be, be, before we take calls, uh, Alex mentioned this before he left uh, the RAF, uh, the Royal Air Force jet, chases Russian planes away from the UK. Two Russian planes were turned back as they approached Scotland with jets from the Netherlands and Denmark also scrambled. Interesting as we look at, the, as we just talked about what's going on over there. I wonder if this is something serious, uh, more serious than the war games that are going on, or if this is something separate. But let's go to the callers. We're first going to go to Joe. Joe, you're up. Hello, guys. Hello there. Um, I'm uh, currently in Canada, and I understand that, you know, eventually, the, you know, most of the, most of the players in, in this scenario seem to be, you know, from the big, from the big superpowers, and you know, eventually the the corrupt under agents that that operate behind the scenes and actually dictate and, and make the calls for for what happens, and you know, of course, the the ruses that are put out to the general public to to mislead and to to guide them into the way that they would have us think things are going down. Um, what I really seem to notice here that um, I believe that Canada has a much bigger place and part in what's going on than actually is being 
notice. I believe that, you know, I mean, we're a huge country. We have incredible resource, which is being exploited from yep. us, you know, at an incredible rate. I mean, a pipeline that's twice as tall as I am of water alone that's being you know, pumped to the states. We built it. We supply it. We generate zero income from it. I mean, well, these yep, are sorry. parts of... And, and, and Joe, uh, of course, you're going to enjoy being part of the North American Union, which is going to be one of the trade zones of, of the, of the, of the, of the uh, New World Order, right? Yeah, thanks for your call, Joe. And you're, you're exactly right. Uh, Canada and its middle class is now, um, you know, just as, as suffering as badly as the United States middle class. The economies right. are so intertwined. Um, Canada is going to be feeling the damage of whatever the U.S. is feeling uh, when the U.S. is attacked financially or uh, by other means, Canada is going to be feeling the same uh, effects we are. Absolutely. And, and, and I just want to remind people, you didn't tune into the wrong station. <laughs> Doug and Joe Hagman uh, temporarily taking the seat of Alex Jones. For the last segment. For the last uh, portion of the show here. Exactly. Um, instead of spinning the top 40, let's go to Roger. Roger, you're up on the Alex Jones show. Yeah, Mr. Hagman. The way we uh, beat the New World Order crowd, we had to do like what that uh, movie, uh, Freedom of Fashion, with Aaron Russo, we had to quit uh, funding these gangsters because if people keep on funding the New World Order crowd, uh, they use our money as a weapon. So I encourage everybody, what we need to do is we need to uh, quit the funding of the IRS uh, so that way they can't they get the money to use against us in order to fund all their programs to use against us. Roger, you're exactly right. Freedom to Fascism is a great documentary. I uh, uh, urge everybody to check that out with uh, the late Aaron Russo, who does an exemplary job of showing the holes of the IRS and the tax code and what people can do to get around that. Anything else today, Roger, before we let you go? That's about all I want to say, guys. Uh, keep up the good work, and uh, God bless you guys. God bless you. Thanks for your call. All righty, let's. Uh, now you're, you're listening to InfoWars. Alex Jones uh, temporarily stepped away. Doug and Joe Hagman uh, manning the helm until his return. Melvin, you're up next on the Alex Jones Show. Yes, Doug and Joe, uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, several of us are noticing that there's been an increase in the number of elites and globalist leaders that are looking old and getting sick and tired and mentally starting to decay, even die. We're starting to notice this with some of their family members. Now, no names need to be said. That's kind of below the belt here. But what we're wondering is, and if Alex, we'd like to get this to his producers and him as well, so some of us might have to call back in. We're wondering if this could be a little bit of divine intervention from up above here, where maybe uh, the good Lord is starting to put the pressure on some of these folks that are doing the largest amount of evil. This would be a bombshell, because it, it, as you would look at acts of God like storms and whatnot, this would be surgically starting to make a move almost like in the scriptures with Passover, with the ten plagues and such. Are you guys seeing any of that? And and that's the question for Alex. We may have to call back in on it, but we're starting through the last few months. Some of you see this. I'd like to get your you know intake on this and uh, see if anything is can be tracked to see if that's in fact happening, because we don't have to do this alone. Once the good Lord gets involved, we'll be along on the coattails. He certainly knows good from evil, and uh, Let's see if we've got another Noah or some kind of a situation like a Passover coming up. I'd like to get your thoughts on it. Thank you, Melvin, uh, for bringing this up. You are exactly right. Uh, the Lord is, is separating his people uh, into where he needs them and is putting the, uh, the breaks, the oppression on the people who are bringing the oppression to us and giving us time. And what we need to do is continue to pray and continue to seek the Lord and to continue to seek his help in, in this fight because without him, uh, all is lost. You know, there's nothing that we uh, can take away from this world. Uh, we're essentially here in this time and place in history because the Lord wants us here for a reason. And without him, we have nothing. And he is our only hope. And we know that the battle's already won. And without his intervention, I think we would have been toast a long time ago. So we got to keep praying. We got to keep uh, the hope up. And we got to keep looking to the Lord as our solution. And thank you for bringing that up, Melvin. And thanks for your call. Yeah, absolutely, my friend. And, and I, I do believe that that uh, we do have some time here, and we, you know, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, 
uh, intelligence insider has always said, you know, uh, a wise man sees trouble and gets out of the way or uses his time wisely to prepare. And I think now is the time to make your preparations to to walk uh, uh, deliberately to the lifeboat, so to speak. And, and